getting more and more interesting to see the massive presence of strategy in the framework of politics. We used to see diplomacy as the main tool, the main weapon in this framework. But now, because we have more and more oppositions between democracies and dictatorships, we see that strategy is more efficient than diplomacy. So the problem is to realize this difference, which makes the difference. Why? Because with diplomacy, we can talk together about something which is rather smooth. But when we have a deep core in the conversation, we have to take care about the robustness of our speech. And for that, we need more and more a strategic point of view. Why? Because we have to consider that there is an asymmetry in this relation. It's not a good relationship. It's more or less a contact. In fact, more a contact. And um, a contact, I mean, in the battlefield and not only a contact in the society. So the problem is to have another point of view because if we try to have simply a conversation with a dictator, the only thing we get is just a failure. So the idea is to consider in a strategic way this difference, this asymmetric way of thinking, because we have to keep in mind our values, but at the same time we have to consider that for the enemy there is no value. It works only with principles. So the idea is a value has less power than a principle. I mean, in the present. But in time, of course, is the opposite. So we have to take care about our values using strategy to protect them, to keep them free of any attack in the present and to bring them in the future to make the difference. So consider now that diplomacy is only a conversation between values. Strategy is a battle between values and principles and that's why it's more efficient when we have a contact, a fight contact between democracy and dictatorship. So keep this in mind. It will be very efficient.